To Syria now, where rebel forces in Idlib are being targeted by shelling and airstrikes this week by Russian-backed government forces. The worst may yet be to come for the rebels. Bashar al-Assad has massed his army along the Idlib front lines uh, for what could be the final blow of the Syrian war. Uh, we're with more on the situation there. Assad uh, al-Achi joins me now from Istanbul. He's the executive director of the charity group Baitna Syria. Uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us on the programme this morning, Mr. al-Achi. Um, from your contacts uh, on the ground, can you tell us what the situation is right now in Idlib province? Well, the situation is very tense, as you can imagine. Uh, first, good morning, and thank you for having me. Um, the situation is very tense, as you can imagine. The shelling has intensified in the past 48 hours, although, interestingly, in the past 24 hours, it has been calmer than that, what it was the day before. Uh, we're not sure why. Probably everyone is waiting for the big summit on Friday. Uh, but a uh, very tense situation. Civilians are quite scared. Um, let's not forget that about half the population of Idlib is made of inter uh, internally displaced people. These people have experienced what displacement means and have experienced carpet bombing before, whether in eastern Ghouta or Dara or eastern Aleppo. So they know what to expect pretty much and how it intense it can be once it starts. Well, that's the point here, isn't it? That those, those almost three million people uh, in Idlib, many of them already displaced. Where do they go now? This is the last rebel stronghold. Well, that's a very good question. And uh, there is no good answer to that question, unfortunately. Um, the Turks have made it very clear that they will not open the border. Um, one, one option would be for some of them to go uh, to the Euphrates Shield area, which is uh, the north um, northeastern part of Aleppo province, that was uh, liberated from Daesh um, with the uh, help of the Turkish forces. So one option would be that, but that would require, obviously, a Turkish um, authorization for people to move there. The other option would be uh, for people to go to areas under currently under control of the regime, uh, but that would be mainly for people who have no security risk in going to these areas, which is very minimal when it comes to Idlib. I mean, Idlib is, may, is as you very well said, the last stronghold of the Syrian opposition. Uh, and it's the area where uh, most of the people who are opposing Bashar al-Assad have been amassed uh, from other areas of Syria. So, unfortunately, we can be looking at a human, a human carnage uh, should Abs there be absolutely. an onslaught on Idlib. And, of course, the, yeah, the UN envoy to Syria has said he is uh, trying to establish a humanitarian corridor, but, of course, uh, it remains to be seen where that would be. And you've highlighted the problems of establishing that. Thank you very much, Assad al-Achi, uh, who is the executive director of the charity group Baitna Syria.